Conservation of wildlife is important for every citizen of the world. In Africa, we have a wealth of wildlife and, and big game that is not found in other parts of the world. Kenya specifically has got a really good set of national parks and conservancies where you can see all of the big five in one day and it contributes to a large part of Kenya's economy for the revenue that's coming in from tourism and the wildlife industry. Whichever way you project forwards, the continued prevalence of wildlife and wild places in Africa is going to become increasingly threatened. And that is a simple function of growing human populations. It's a function of the industrialization and development of Africa. These are inevitabilities. Conservation is not just about economic opportunity in preserving wildlife. It is also about preserving ecological process. We all need clean air. We all need flowing rivers. We all need sustainably managed and harvested natural resources. And that is actually what conservation is all about. We as an organization pride ourselves on being at the cutting edge of new conservation approaches. As technology evolves in other areas, it has applicability to the world of conservation and sustainable management of natural resources. We needed a field-based hub where we could actually test conservation technology solutions before they're deployed. With this, it gives us an upper hand because we are able to develop, we are able to innovate these solutions in a more secure and user-friendly environment at all Vegeta. As Liquid Telecom, we are a technology partner for the Wildlife Innovation Lab. We are here to provide technology for the conservation projects and experiments and research. They have a lab here, it's a physical facility where researchers will sit and do their work. Now those researchers need to have fast internet. I can get a mobile phone signal here just about, and it's not anywhere near good enough. Liquid Telecom have put in a 100 megabits per second link. We also have cloud available for the researchers. Within the Conservancy, we have two base stations, one here at the HQ, one, one of their sites a bit far away from here. And then uh, we have another two outside, so that we have a total of four within the entire Conservancy area. Sigfox technology is something that we have invested in and uh, we are partnering with in Kenya to roll out a network. This grows a great opportunity because the size of the sensors is coming down. The Sigfox Foundation, who we are also partnering with, have developed a rhino tracking sensor. It's smaller than a 35 millimeter film and fits sort of inside a rhino's horn. This is the difference in the technology. It's bringing down the size. It's making sensors less intrusive to animals. Also, by being low power, the batteries can last a long time. On this conservancy, a lot of the principal species are rhinos. This is the most important rhino sanctuary in East Africa. So if we can make the technology work, if we can develop it here or adapt it and demonstrate its use here, it means it can be scaled and it can improve conservation elsewhere, not just in Kenya, but we believe around the world. And it can then be adapted for other species because we have a few, and I say perhaps one of the most critically endangered species here, but there are many, many similarly endangered species around the world. And then of course the other species of interest are the predators uh, because of the conflict they cause both inside and outside with communities, and elephants as a large species that is destructive, that moves a lot. Then we hope the internet of things and all the advancement in technology is going to help contribute to making conservation much easier, and much more affordable, and much more accessible, especially to a lot of the local communities who have similar conservancies but don't have the kind of resources that Olepajeta has. I think what is unique about Olepajeta and IoT um, and the lab, the technology lab that we are launching, is the fact that this lab relies quite heavily on collaborations. So it is open to the global conservation community, developing solutions that will contribute to wildlife preservation across the globe. Any partnerships that we can develop with organizations like Liquid Telecom are really important for us. We don't pretend to have all of the answers to all of the challenges, and Liquid Telecom is at the cutting edge of technology in Kenya. They offer us a partnership which we can make use of to develop some of the solutions that we're looking to develop, which can then be scaled across Africa and other parts of the world. This is the first innovation lab that we have sponsored in a conservancy. We think it's the first in the world, so for Liquid Telecom to be involved in supporting a world first is very exciting for us. Um, it fits very nicely in with what we're doing with innovators. We expect different companies and NGOs that are doing research projects in wildlife to come and use this hub and, uh, and use Liquid Telecom backbone and, and our cloud, so it's very exciting for us.